Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. This episode is for Sunday, August 7th, 2016. I'm your host, Banks Lee. As always, we're going to take a look back at the past seven days of our Twitter feed at Attractions. So let's get started last Sunday on July 31st over at Disney Springs inside Curl. We found some really neat looking Star Wars socks that are on sale. I'm not really the kind of uh, person, I just like plain old white socks, but I know a lot of people will like these design socks like this, so stop over there if you want to get some Star Wars stuff. So if you're in Orlando and you're looking to get some of our back issues of Attractions Magazine, look no further than Theme Park Connection. They have plenty of, of our back issues there for sale. So if you want to stock up on issues you don't have or get started on a new collection, head over there. August 1st, the Incredible Hulk Coaster over at Islands of Adventure soft opened for the first time for guests. You can see look here the new entrance area for the attraction. Of course, the attraction itself officially opened over the past week. We'll have some more looks at it later on in this episode. So we spotted a few uh, popcorn buckets, some new design park popcorn buckets that are now on sale over at Animal Kingdom. This first one right here is a really cool flower. kind of looks like the uh, flowers that you would see during the um, Jungle Book Alive with Magic show. There's also this popcorn bucket made to look like a drum on sale over in the Africa section of Animal Kingdom. So I love these little videos. They're little called Little Planet videos. It's basically they're made from 360 degree videos. And this one is of the Orla the Coca Cola Orlando Eye. It was done by at Theron White on Twitter for us. And you actually find some more of these videos on our Facebook page and some 360 videos on our YouTube page, youtubecom attractions magazine. August 3rd, we were over at Islands of Adventure getting a look at the brand new Incredible Hulk coaster. This is a look inside the queue, the updated queue, new storyline, new uh, details in the queue, new ride vehicles, basically a, si a, whole new, a whole new coaster, and it's really awesome. We'll have a look at the coaster on this week's episode of the show, so you don't want to miss that when that uh, uploads on Thursday. Of course, inside the Hulk queue, you can find some fun Easter eggs like this one with uh, some Marvel Easter eggs. Let me know in the comments below what Easter eggs you see here and what do they mean. And of course, with an updated Hulk coaster, you have an updated ride photo border for the Hulk. This is uh, me riding very first time ever in the front row for Hulk. And that's because they added modified seats to the front and back rows, as well as the two rows that they were in the old version. So that made me very happy. And it's uh, front row is pretty awesome on this ride. And on August 3rd, we're over at Disney Springs trying out the new Blaze Pizza Restaurant. And this is a, a new place where you can go and get a custom pizza made for you within minutes. It's really fast and really good. Lots of indoor and outdoor seating available at Blaze Pizza. It's located over at Disney Springs between, uh, the best place to say is between STK and Deluxe Burger, uh, almost right next door to Homecoming. August 6th, here's a look at the facade pretty much looks to be completed facade for the uh, toothsome chocolate emporium restaurant that's going to be coming to city walk in the very near future i cannot wait to try this place uh, desserts count me in Every week it feels like I'm talking about something Pokemon Go related, but it's such a huge craze. And over at Basin at, at Disney Springs, they've started to make these limited edition bath bombs that look like Pokeballs. Cool thing is, is once you put these in the bath and they start to dissolve away, you may notice a, a hidden little item inside the Pokeball. And finally this week, we're going to leave you with this look at a uh, Universal Orlando Passholder newsletter that went out over the weekend, and it reveals a couple of details that have not officially been announced yet for this year's Halloween Horror Nights, including the fact that there's going to be five scare zones around the park, and the name of one of the original story houses called Tomb of the Ancients. Can't wait to find out more details about that one. And that's going to do it this week for the Weekly Rewind. Be sure to tune in to the show this past week. We went over to the brand new Coca-Cola Orlando Eye and took a look at the Summer Soak Party over at SeaWorld Orlando. And of course, this week we'll have a look at the Incredible Hulk Coaster and Skull Island Reign of Kong. So you don't want to miss any of that. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash attraction magazine to and don't miss the videos that come out. Until next week, guys, have fun. We'll see you later.